Police officer Dong Yang spent a year undercover, getting close to the criminal boss Li Kuan. But the capture operation went badly. The Dong Yang boss died, and Li Kuan was shot dead by his assistant Wan Beijia, who had long wanted to take the place of the leader. Three years pass, Dong Yang looks after Tao Tao, the son of his diseased boss, who is now an orphan, but one day the boy disappears. He is kidnapped by smugglers from the gang of the same Wan Beijia, who is looking for a suitable donor for a heart transplant to a rich customer. The boy is stolen in Thailand, where the police are working not as well as in China, and to get him back, Dong Yang will have to take the investigation into his own hands. It's clear that stories about tough vigilantes who single-handedly take out organized gangs are a hundred years old, but since some time they have been rooted in Pierre Morel's Taken, which reinterpreted genre templates and masterfully repackaged them. Rescue on One's Own is another variation on the theme of the same Taken, quite a dynamic action thriller, which once again tell us that the Chinese policeman can do everything and there is no gang that could stop him. Liu Kai, who directed the film, has been working in Chinese online cinema for more than a decade and has been specializing in hand-to-hand -hand action films for most of that time. He has directed, among others, films with telling titles such as Imperial Bodyguard Clan, Wang Fei Hung, The Invincible King, Fang Saiyuk, The Thousand Faces of Azura and Fearless Kung Fu King. Rescue on One's Own is his first film to be released after a four-year hiatus caused by the COVID pandemic, and the director once again proves his love for the genre and his understanding of its laws. The key rule of such a movie is that the story in it must be told through action. It doesn't mean that the characters have to do nothing but fight with random people, but that every plot twist has to happen through action. All the characters have to be in conflict with each other, and Wang Hao, the screenwriter of the film, ensures this. The policeman Dong Yang, who is looking for his adopted son, gradually getting closer to Ruan, is hunted by a tough female killer played by actress Wei Lu, who, on the one hand, doesn't like working for the mob, but, on the other hand, has unfinished business with Dong Yang. This multi-figure composition of the story guarantees plenty of skirmishes over the course of the movie, and in that respect, Rescue on One's Own delivers everything it promises, confidently staged, shot and executed fight scenes every 10 minutes of screen time. Yes, of course, the budget of internet movies is always limited, so in some places you have to squint in order not to notice CGI explosions and camera work and editing tricks, designed to hide the lack of money for truly spectacular stunts. And yes, in general the movie looks poor relative compared to the main action premieres for online streaming this year, such as Desperado, Blind Sword 2 or Hunt the Wicked. But the creators of Rescue on One's Own can't be blamed, they honestly did their best.